Alright, so if you like that effect, I'll show you how to do it in Sony Vegas Pro 10. This also works in other versions of Sony Vegas Pro, so don't worry about it. Just follow along if you have a different version. The first thing you want to do is download a picture of a television. I just googled an image of a flat screen. And we're just going to take that image and drag it here. And you can get there by hitting the Explorer tab and going through your folders. As you see, you have these black bars to the side here, which means your image is not big enough. So we're just going to go here to Track Motion. And we're just going to stretch it out until the black bars are gone. And exit out of that. Alright, then we're going to work on your static. You're going to go to Media Generators. You're going to click on Noise Texture and Starry Sky. Take that, drag it right above your television set. Okay, for your minimum, we're going to set that at 0 0.080. For your max is 0 0.550. Let's find that. And then we want to make this color, its default is yellow. We're going to make that white by just simply dragging the triangles all the way to your right hand side. And if you have 10, you may have an animate button. Hit that. And you want to take this bar here, drag it all the way to the end, and then go to Progress in Degrees, and you want to drag that all the way up. And what that does is creates the static effect. So you'll have something that looks like this. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is fit our static into the television screen. So we want to come over here to track motion on the static effect. And the first thing you want to do is unlock your aspect ratio so you can fit it perfectly on that screen. And then you want to come down to the edges and just kind of drag it in. Click in the middle, slide it up, slide it down. Bring mine in a little bit more and bring it out some. That's what we don't want to do. Okay, and then just slide it up on your screen to perfectly fit. And mine is not going to be perfect, but we're going to try. Alright. Then the next step is you want to add an audio effect. And so I downloaded some TV static effects, something random. See here. Grab that TV static effect and drag it also down into your timeline. And you want to bring all of these in so they stop around the same point. Let's drag the static in to match your television. And we'll bring that in. And this is what you come up with. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Later.